This video tries to clarify the difference between a CPU simulation and a system simulation. So let's dig in. Uh, what's a CPU? A CPU is also known as a central processing unit or a processor or a microprocessor. It's the component that uh, reads instructions, executes them, and uh, presumably uh, sends out some data uh, either back to memory or to some uh, I.O. devices. Uh, CPU has an internal uh, architecture. Uh, in this diagram uh, is the architecture of a very simple 6502 CPU. It has a number of registers, a uh, program counter, which is not a register, an address bus, a data bus, and an uh, arithmetic and logical unit. In the left diagram, uh, there's the pinout of this 6502 CPU. So basically, a CPU simulation uh, needs to simulate all those components. Sometimes we speak about the CPU emulation. This is slightly different in that an emulator uh, normally simulates uh, all the electrical signals that are present uh, on the CPU. So, uh, for example, comparing the left diagram with the right diagram, uh, we can see on the left that besides an address bus and a data bus, there are additional signals uh, that an emulator should uh, emulate. Uh, this is an example application of a uh, CPU simulator where you can uh, step through a program, uh, execute it uh, instruction by instruction, and you can see how uh, an individual instruction is affecting the internal state of the CPU, the registers. This is very useful when learning how to program in assembly language example because in this case you can uh, execute your program instruction by instruction and watch uh, how uh, the execution of an instruction is affecting the internal state of the CPU now what about system simulation well uh, a computer system is uh, comprised of a CPU but also additional components such as memory which can be either RAM or ROM, uh, I.O. devices, for example, display, keyboard, communication ports, uh, disks, and so on. So a system simulation must uh, implement simulations for all these components, uh, but uh, in addition to individual component simulation, a system simulation must also uh, account for the way uh, these components uh, are connected and how the communication is performed. For example, uh, is there a single bus that is shared between memory and I.O. devices? Or maybe there's a dedicated I.O. bus? Or maybe I.O. devices are uh, using uh, memory mappings and so on. So uh, I hope this clarifies a bit the difference between a CPU simulation and a system simulation. And uh, when you hear the term uh, Z80 uh, simulator, you'll probably think about a CPU simulator. While if you hear the term uh, Z80 architecture or Z80 spectrum simulation, then you would think about a system that a system simulation that uh, implements uh, such a complete architecture and simulates it. So thank you and see you next time. Bye.